Parents need to be aware of cyberbullying. In fact, one in five students between 12 and 18 experience it. It's a new kind of bullying that's easier, easier to carry out but harder to discover. Our Jacqueline Matter tells us how Manatee County Schools are approaching the issue this year. Every seven minutes, a child in the U.S. will be bullied. It may be the son or daughter of someone you know, or worse, it may be your own. Any kid that's dealing with some type of ridicule, criticism from their peers, uh, made to feel like they're not a part of the school community, it's going to weigh heavy on their mind. And those are the things that get in the way of student learning. Skip Wilhoyt with the Safe Schools Organization works hand in hand with the Manatee County School District and says nationally more than 160,000 children miss school every day out of fear of being bullied. He says it takes many forms, but bullying the way many of us know it is now a thing of the past. While violence and name calling still happens, cyberbullying is the new norm. When a student is a victim of cyberbullying, it really impacts the student's ability to perform in school. And whether it takes place inside of school or outside of school, we're allowed to intervene in order to help protect our students. Will Hoyt says kids who are cyberbullied are more likely to skip school, use alcohol and drugs, have low self-esteem or health problems. His organization provides seminars to kids of all ages to preach prevention. When we talk to kids about it, we not only want them to know what bullying looks like when they see it, but also what to do when they do see it. And that way they can recognize it and act appropriately. The Safe Schools Initiative is more than a decade old, and Will Hoyt says cyberbullying is the new obstacle to tackle when it comes to keeping students safe. The worst thing that students can do is just ignore it or, you know, just let it absorb. Uh, and then they internalize these things. Or if they want to respond in, in a way that's probably going to evoke a, a harsher response from the bully or bullies, contact a, uh, the service provider. And if they're violating the user terms of service, you can go ahead and report them. However, a new messaging app topping the charts isn't helping in the fight against cyberbullying. Using the app Saraha, users can hide behind their phones and send messages to one another anonymously. While it's rated for users 17 and up, many children are downloading the app and using it to bully others. Will Hoyt recommends parents keep a close eye on their kid's phone to prevent cyberbullying and to monitor social media. Know your kid, watch your kid, and look for any type of change and then talk with your child. Parents can set parental controls on iPhones by changing settings on their child's iPhone. Jacqueline Matter, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.